Hey y'all, this is your girl Kitty Cam and welcome to the Kitty Cam vlog. Um, I hope y'all having a wonderful um, evening today. Um, as you can see, we're going to be doing another reaction of um, a Nephew Tommy prank call. So I hope y'all enjoy this one. Um, this is going to be like a long one. I think it's like 44 something minutes and everything like that. I had to put everything together, but I hope y'all like this one. But other than that, y'all, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And let us get started. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Hello? Hello, I'm trying to reach Brian. Yeah, here's me. How you doing, Brian? My name is Daniel. I wanted to give you a call today. You you got a minute? Uh, yeah. Okay, listen, um, you're, you're Brian, um, Brian right you're married to uh to althea yeah hello hello yeah i'm here yeah that, that, that's me that's my wife yeah okay got a question for you how long have you guys been married going on nine years now we've been married over, now who is this my name is daniel were, were you um were, were you guys married at a greater new missionary baptist church uh let me see yeah yeah yep yeah that's the name of that church yeah great but now, yeah, yeah, that's right. What, what, what's going on? What, what you asking me all these questions for? Okay, do you remember the the, 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 the minister that officiated your actual uh, wedding ceremony? Yeah, that was uh, Reverend Reverend right. Yeah. Okay, I got the right person. I wanted to make sure I had the right person, uh, Brian, so I'm I'm sorry if it, if it seemed a little weird to you. Here, here's what's going on. We've just come up with a new discovery, a lot of information that uh, Reverend None of his credentials are true. Everything is false. He's not a minister at all. He never was a minister. And every single wedding ceremony that he officiated is basically null and void. So, I, and I hate to be the, the, the bearer of bad news, but you and Althea, even though you think you've been married for nine years, you guys are not married oh, no, at no. all. No, 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 no. no that, that you got to have the wrong person. Cause me and that thing, we got we got married about nine years ago, and we're I'm telling you is he do, he he never was ordained. He's never been an ordained minister. He's not a minister at all. So when he performed this ceremony, your wedding ceremony, he had no right to be doing that. You guys are not are not married. You know, you guys have been living in sin for nine years. <laughs> hold on, hold, hold on, now. let me tell you something. I ain't been living in no sin. Me and my wife, we have been married for nine years, and that man, he's a preacher. I'm telling you, he's a preacher. I heard him preach last Sunday. Sir, as of today, he has, he has no right to be in anybody's pulpit. He has no right to be officiating, whether it's weddings or funerals, no matter what it is, christenings for children. He's not allowed to do that, and we have uh, officially stopped him from doing anything serving under... Uh, uh, as being a pastor or a minister. We have stopped that. But what I want you to know is that you have been living in sin. And you don't, uh, you, if there, we want to try and get you guys married as soon as possible so you're not living in sin. Oh, no, Doc. I ain't been living in no sin. I have been married for nine years. This woman, she has been taking care of me and my kids for the past nine wait, wait, years. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, you, you, guys have, about... you guys have children? Yeah, yeah, we, we got two two kids, two mm. beautiful kids. Okay, then those kids are bastards. Bastards? Oh. Hold, on. Hold on, let me tell you something. My kids ain't no bastards. What about your kids? Your kids are bastards? No, uh, sir, my, kid, my kids were born that. in wedlock. Your kids have been born out of Dude, wedlock. I'm telling you, that man did my service, and he is a preacher. He's a man after God's own heart himself. He done done everything that, that he could for me and my family. He is a preacher. Sir, I, I, don't, I, I know it's hard for you to, to, to swallow the truth, but I want you to know, and I need you to be able to tell Althea that you guys are not married, and not as of right now. No, no. Okay, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, back in the olden days, but before all these all these colleges and stuff came came about, you telling me that them men back in the old days, that they wasn't no preachers, that they wasn't men, men after the call? Is that what you're saying to me? Uh, what, 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 are you, what, are you, what are you What are you getting at, sir? What I'm trying to say is back in the olden days, back in the 20s and 30s, they didn't have all these colleges and all these degrees and stuff like these new preachers got these days. That man now, he was from back then. And 
God called them, and that's what they went on to. And all them people that they married back then, they did the same thing today. You don't need no degree to say that, that you're a preacher. You don't need no license to say you, you're a preacher. Me and my wife, we've been married for nine years. My kids have been born in wedlock. We were yeah. married. We were married by Reverend my friends and family, they was all there. Sir, the bottom line is, is that you have been living in sin because you have not been married with your wife for the last nine years. And your kids, I, I, I hate to say it, your kids are bastards. Now, oh. hold on now, I done told you. Don't say nothing else about my kids. And I ain't no cusser, but don't push me. My kids ain't no bastards, you understand me? You don't get me up, sir. I'm trying to give you the truth and try to get you in here and get you married so you will not be living in sin any more than what you are. I ain't living in no sin. Look, now you don't make me whoop your ASS. You understand? Me and my wife, we have been married for nine years. Don't sit up here and call me talking about the we ain't married. That man ain't no preacher. You understand? Now get off my so, phone. What, you, that's my wife. Those are my kids. They have been born in wedlock. You understand, sir? Sir, I, I, I just wanted to call and give you the information so that you could probably stop living in sin. That's all I wanted to do. I ain't living in no sin. That's what I just told you. You ain't hear me? I ain't living in no sin. Maybe you the one that's living up in some sin. Now, you ain't got nothing else to me. That man that married us nine years ago. Now, get sir, your ASS off my phone. Sir, <laughs> sir, I, sir, I have one more thing. I, one more thing I'd like to say you to you. You ain't got nothing else to say to me. You ain't get your ASS off my PAM phone. <laughs> now, do you understand me? Oh. I ain't got time for this publicity. Sir, can I say one more thing? What you got to say to me now? I just wanted to let you know that this is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey <laughs> Morning Show. Your wife, Althea, got me to prank phone call you. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, oh, Lordy. <laughs> doc, doc, yeah. Uh-huh. Doc, yeah. I almost went in on you, Doc. You almost made me go there. You almost made me go there. You got me. Yeah, I'm a kid. I think you say I think put you up to this. I think you got me to prank you, man. Wow, man. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, yeah, we gonna have a good long talk on tonight. <laughs> wow. Oh man, you almost made me cuss, man. <laughs> I ain't cuss in years, man. Let me tell you something. You ain't cuss, but you know how to spell, though. <laughs> you were you were yeah, feeling it, Doc. Gotta replace it, man. Gotta replace it. <laughs> oh man, hey man, you all right with me, brother? I got to ask you something, man. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? The Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. That's right. Y'all all right, right with right. me, man? <laughs> wow. Mm mm. That was funny. Hello. Hello, I'm trying to reach, uh, is it Gordon? Right, it's Gordon. How you doing, Mr. Gordon? Uh, Dustin, my name oh, is, uh, uh, let me, let me uh, turn down the TV. Are you calling about the apartment? Yes, yes. I was trying to see about, uh, maybe come over to take a look at it or, and, and seeing uh, if it's still available, man. I got a newspaper, but I didn't know if this is still available or what. No, 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 it's still for rent. Um, uh, let me be, uh, straight with you. Um, uh, you know, no pets and, uh, no, no smoking. Uh, of any kind. Uh, no, no, I understand. Okay. From my understanding, the listing is like eight hundred fifty dollars a month, right? right? Eight fifty. You got a parking spot, um, your private bathroom with a shower, uh, right? And uh, eight fifty. I'm gonna need first uh, last month. And uh, really, um, let me, well, what's your name? My name is Darnell. 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 Okay. First. Right. Um, so yeah. Um, first last month and uh, social security number. I can do a background check. Okay, okay, okay. Now, uh, let me ask you this. You guys got, uh, like, a back backyard area. I, I teach classes in the mornings, and I want to know if you have that. That That's pretty much what will kind of lock me in if you got a, if you guys got a backyard that I can use. Oh, we got a backyard. What, what do you teach? I teach yoga. I teach yoga in the mornings from uh, from 6 to 8. Hopefully that won't be a problem. You make, you make money doing yoga? Yes, sir. I definitely do. I make enough definitely to cover the rent, that's for sure. That shouldn't be a problem. I know. I know a little bit about yoga. That's that. I mean, really, if it's y'all, you know, you're not making no noise. That's yoga. Right. That, that's not a problem. A good deal. Well, how quick can I actually get moved in? I mean, I'm trying to get settled. I just moved in from the uh, from the East Coast. I jumped on my yoga pretty quick and got a, quite a bit of clientele built up. And um, you know, I'm just just ready to get started, get moved in, man. Some, something that I can actually call home, you know. Uh, yeah, well, you know, we're looking to rent rent it out pretty quick, um, you know, because we want to try and get it filled as soon as possible. Cause it's you said we, are you, are you, you got a roommate, you're, you're, 
I mean, married nah, it's, 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 it, it would be me and my wife, and uh, we, it's a three-bedroom home. You would have the room in the back with the bathroom, and uh, right. yeah, like right. an 850, do a credit check. Right. And, uh, you know, right. since we meet, um, I can do the background check, and uh, uh, no, 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 no. What, 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 what do you necessarily need to do that for? Well, you got to know who you're into, and you want to know what the credit they got, so if they can afford to rent or not. You know, I got, got I got, I got real good credit, man. My credit is fine. I'm, not, I'm actually yeah. in the 800s on my, on my credit scores. Oh damn, all right. When you get here, is well, how you fill out application. But uh, right. you know, if, you, if you're ready to get it cracking, I can do, I can do a background check, and you right now just give me your uh, social security number. Okay, but let me let me go ahead and just do this, man, on that background check, because you know that, what what I want to say about that is this: there might be something on there about like and when I was on the East Coast, you know, I was actually teaching uh, naked yoga. You know what I mean? Naked yoga. Uh, you know, you may see something on there about me being a, a, a nipple. Oh, man. naked yoga? Yeah, well, see, that's, what, that's the kind of yoga I was teaching on the East Coast was naked yoga. You know what I'm saying? And, and everybody was teaching naked, naked yoga here? Well, but see, that's in the backyard. It's closed in. You know, in no, my backyard? Like, and you, what, what, what other glitch you got? You said there's some glitches, Michael. Well, what other glitch you got? Well, you might see that I, I, I'm a nymphomaniac, but see, they, they, but see, I didn't took some, I didn't took class. Nympho what? I, I didn't took counseling for that though. So, you no, know, yeah. well, you need to take some counseling over or somewhere else. You ain't taking no counseling and doing no uh, naked yoga in my backyard. No, but see, man, all that's behind me now. That's on the East Coast, man. That, that, that's, that's all behind me now. I, I didn't put that thing down. Man, I don't care if it's behind you, in front of you, on the side. You're doing some <laughs> naked yoga in my backyard. That ain't happening, man. Matter of hey, fact, man. Hey, right, man, listen. Right, my I got all the credentials list. that qualify to move in there, and now you're going to sit here and tell me I can't. What am I doing some naked yoga in my backyard with no 20, 30 people. Then my wife be at home, man. You, look. Well, you want to bring your wife? Yeah, you know what, Darnell? It's all good. Let her get naked and do to, some yoga in there, man. man. Just scratch that one off your list and just move on to the next one because there ain't no naked yoga going down back here with no nymphomaniac. I don't know what else y'all might be doing. I don't know what. You know, I don't know who does Trump, naked man. yoga. We all, we, it's, just, man, it's, just a, it's just a serene moment, man, where you find yourself. That's all this really is about. Well, you better find yourself somewhere. No, that's what I know. You ain't doing no naked yoga in my backyard. I'm surprised you even called somebody with that. Hey, man, I'm going to come over there to this address and start looking at this place because I want to set up shop right here. In my backyard, and I don't even know you. Talking about you got some glitches in your past. You going to have a foot in your... How do you know that this isn't something that your wife might really want to get into? But my wife... Don't even mention my wife's name, man. You don't know me. You don't even know my wife. Take my off your list. You come out here, you going to have another glitch. I'm coming out you know there darn to look you at this damn room, and you're going to show it to me. I ain't showing you... You come, come out here, and I'm going to show you something else. My back I am, I am a recovered nymphomaniac. I'm recovered. I'm recovered nymphomaniac. You about to get your with by a maniac. I'm the maniac. Please believe, Darnell. I'm gonna come over no, there right now. I'm over here I'm with that. Come over there now, man. So we can sit with the fence. I ain't having that. Do not hey, man, listen, listen, please man, believe. I'm gonna come over there. Please, please just my life, man. Look, this. You can do whatever you want somewhere else, but this right here, this ain't the place for you. I'm gonna tell you that right now, Darnell. Talk to your wife, man. Whatever it is you want to talk about, this ain't the place for you. Go somewhere else. Take that. Please talk to your wife, man. Please talk to your wife. Do not even try me, Darnell. Do not talk to your wife, man. I'm not even that kind of dude, man. But you about to bring this out of me. Do not bring this over here, Darnell. So, so as far as your wife, man, this right here, this right here is over for real. You're going to come out here and catch a case. Okay, can I, can I say one more thing to you, no, man? you can't say Darnell, because this, I, this conversation's over, man. Okay, how about that? Say, hey, man, can I say one more thing, man? What you got to Hello? say, man? This is, what? This is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You just got pranked by your brother. <laughs> oh, get the f*** out of here, man. This is Nephew Tommy. Who, who, who told you to do this to me, man? <laughs> Your brother. My brother. Oh, I'm going to get this. Oh, my God. Man, my heart is all beating all fast, man. My oh, get the out of here, man. Talk, man. Oh. You all right, man? Man. I was going to whoop your butt naked. If you came around here, man, you just don't know. Man, I'm so glad this is a joke. You have no idea. I'm so glad it's a joke, man. <laughs> that was funny. Oh my goodness. Uh-uh. Talk about some naked yoga. Wow. The barbershop. Clutch, this Brady. Uh, Brady, how you doing, man? My name, my name is Dennis, man. I got a haircut from you a couple weeks ago. Yeah, what's up, Dennis? What's up for you, brother? Hey, listen, um, 
I wanted to get an appointment with you, man. Uh, like I said, I was there a couple weeks ago, man. My first time getting a haircut from you. Did a real, real good job, so I want to say thank you for that. All right. No, not a problem. Not a problem. Okay. Do, do you have any um in, in, any time on, available on Thursday? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, you come up there Thursday. That'd be fine. What's, what's, what's your name again, bro? Uh, Dennis, man. Dennis. Okay, Dennis. Well, I, I can get you in, Dennis, about, about 3 o'clock, man, something of that nature. I mean, you know, I normally work off appointments, you know. Come okay. About three. 3 o'clock, you'll be there? Yeah, yeah, I'll be there right through. Okay. Hey, hey, I, I, I got a little bit of situation though, man. That happened last time I was there. I kind of wanted to talk to you about it, man, because it, it kind of caught me off guard. So I, I, I wanted to holler at you, man, and, and see if we could rectify the problem before I came back up there. What, what happened? Was somebody disrespect you or something? I mean, what, what was the deal? Well, well, um, it, it really wasn't somebody, man. It, it was, it was, it was, it was actually you. Me? Whoa. I mean, what's the what happened? Here's the deal, man. When 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 you was cutting my hair, when it when it was time to turn the the, the chair, you you didn't turn the chair with, with 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 your hand, man. You you see, Brady, man, you you turned the chair with your with your private part. Oh come on, bro. Say, Dennis. I mean, Dennis. I'm a professional, man. I've been doing this 15 years, bro. Right, right. But I I I I don't think it's anything uh, deliberate, man. I think you just do it unconsciously, man. Cause you know you be leaning over on the chair cutting, and I think you don't realize, you know, you be turning the chair with your private part instead of doing it with your hand, man. And see, my hand got caught out there. And I saw it out the corner of my eyes. I saw your private part coming towards my hand. I moved it just in time. You understand? No, bro. No, no, no. See, Dennis, I'm, I'm not understanding something, bro, because I don't, I don't, we don't operate like that around here, because, you know, I, I don't make mistakes like that, bro. I mean, you know, I don't know. You you sure you're talking to the right person, man? Yeah, I mean, ain't you the third chair on the right when you walk in the door? Yeah, that, that is correct. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, man. And, 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 and like you cut me two weeks ago, and like I said, I really like my haircut, so I want to call back and rectify this problem. Because, you, like I say, that's the only way you was turning it. You know, I look like a little squirrel by the time you got to cut my hair. I had to keep my hands in and my elbows in because, you know, your private part was turning the chair, man. <laughs> well, bro, I don't know what, what, but no, I, I, I don't operate like that, man. Oh, okay, I mean, well, that, well, like I say, that's the reason why I'm calling now is to tell you I'm coming back to get a cut because I like the haircut, but you know you got to turn the chair with your hand and not your private part. If not, we're gonna have a problem. Okay, bro, and I, I, I feel you, and I understand your, your your complaint and everything. I mean, I, I'm not understanding what you're saying, but but I don't do that. You know, but I mean, we we will be glad to, you know what I'm saying, give you another cut or whatever, you understand, man. You know, but but I don't move nobody, you know, around with my private, man. You know, that's just not me. You know? Okay, I understand what you're saying, but I want you to hear what I'm saying. If you put your private on there at all, when I come in there Thursday, then I, I promise you I'm going to jump up and we're going to have a problem. Well, 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 well see, now, 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 right there, then it's, uh, I'm not, I'm not feeling that jump up having a problem because, you know, you, you don't really know me like that, bro. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to be professional here and, 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 and solve your little issues that you got, you understand me? But, but all this jumping up and, and stuff you're talking about doing, I, I don't know about hey, all that stuff. I'm trying to come in and get a nice haircut and walk out with a nice haircut. But what I don't want to well, do well, is come down there, get a nice haircut, you lean over, put your private part where I got my arms and my hands at, and I got whoop your now that's what hey, I don't. See, 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 you folks, nah, nah, you, you starting, to, you're touching me wrong. Talking about you talking about, I'm okay. touching you wrong. You touched me wrong two weeks ago when you put your private on my hand, man. Thank you, folks. I ain't nobody touch you like that. Tell you feel me? Say what? I don't know who the hell you think you're talking to, man. You know we don't run on here. So Hey, dog, all I'm trying to say is a brother trying to come in and get his hair cut and walk out feeling like a man and not walk out feeling violated, man, because you didn't turn the chair with your private part all up against my hand and my elbow and stuff, man. Hey, hey, hold up, hold up, boy. You know what I'm saying? I don't remember really like that. I'm a grown <laughs> man saying, bro, you know, I, I, I tried to talk to you, you feel me? But now you done rub me wrong. Ain't no punk flying here, you understand me? Well, ain't no punk flying there. Then keep it off my hand, then. Hey, say, say, hold on. Let me tell you something. Say, man, we don't play that over here. You bring your stupid over here. I'm going to tell you right now, you get backed up by this You understand me? Hey, hey man, we're quicker. We don't play no punk over here. This, is, this ain't a salon. It's a barber shop. It's real over here. You hear me? You hear me? I hear what you're saying, but let me explain something to you. Quit using your hips and your private section like a pinball machine. I'm going to tell you right now. Boy, I will put something on your You come up with that You understand me? All right. Oh, I'm gonna play, boy. Come on.
Hey, hey, dude, I'm just trying to come and get a haircut. I'm trying to get a haircut and walk out of there like a man, feeling like a man. I bet you I'll open you up. I'm going to open you up, boy. You want to stay? You Oh, hell no. No, I'll tip up. Watch out. No, f*** that. No, come on. You don't that f***. You know, tell you I'll do something to your eyes. What you want to be? This ain't no f*** salon. This is a barber shop. S*** cuts, my You understand me? Honest. Hold what? Yeah, that's f***. I ain't got no time for that Hey man, I'm 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 going on leave it at this here. I'll be in there Thursday. How your clippers ready to cut my hair? How your other parts of your body ready to stay the hell off of me? You feel me? You know what, man? Who is you, man? Uh, yeah, you just you come up here. Yeah, come on up here and recognize yourself when you come up here. You feel what I'm saying? Put your name on your I'm shirt. Put, uh, okay, okay. I'm going to put my real name on my shirt then. You, you want to know what my real name is? That's what's up. Do, That's what's up, baby. Okay, then you might want you want you want to know what name going to be on the shirt? I want to know what going to be on the shirt. All right, then. The name on the shirt is Nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I got one more thing to ask you, man. What is, what is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Man, it's been all the morning, man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, I'm going to tell you what, man. Coming up at the top of the hour, right about four minutes after, it's my strawberry letter for today. Subject, this young man has me weak in the knees. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. All right, right, right now, though, it's the, it's the nephew here with today's prank phone call. What you got for us, Ness? I don't know yet. I'm trying to go through my archives here, Shirley. Uh-huh. uh-huh. Find something. Uh, stupid Still dealing with time. that old school Rolodex, aren't you? Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I, that's the best way. <laughs> all, all my stuff right. written. written uh-huh. Today, on. today. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Ain't nothing online. Mm-mm, no. <laughs> nothing, no, Junior, no. right? Yeah. This is all filed. This is like library filed. stuff. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> These pranks are filed. You know what I'm saying? This is when you... When you go to the, um, what's that thing you used to go to in the library with, in the, oh my God, what is that called? Card catalog. Oh yeah, with card a card catalog. catalog. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> Pull it up and it's a screen. That's the first time we was really looking at a screen right there. That's that right there. Microfish? Uh, what was it called? Something. But, but anyway. It's these, so old, we can't It's those remember. kind of archives, okay? <laughs> yes. Okay, it's those kind of archives. But anyway, this right here is church parking lot. Church parking lot. I, I'm looking at it right here in the files. Church parking lot. <laughs> okay, it's written in pencil with a number two pencil. The same Church. boxes they were represent from Trump. He got a prank in here. What is he doing with a prank in there? Church <laughs> parking lot. Let's go, cat dog. Hello, this is Brendan. Uh yeah, uh uh Brendan. Hey, uh, I'm trying to reach you. How you, you doing? How you doing? Uh Brendan, I want to make sure I got the right person. You the person that uh you work at the at the uh first of all I go to uh Saint, See, what's your name again? Uh my name my name Calvin. Because brother hey, Calvin, but I go to uh Saint <laughs> Missionary Baptist Church where you Okay. Yeah. So Yeah, so everything all right? You need Everything's fine. Well, I got a little issue and I'm trying to uh get to the bottom of it. Now, you work in the uh, before service start, you you work in the parking lot on uh, and so, yeah, the, so I, I do attending, yeah, yeah, and you tell you people wanna, where, where to park and stuff, right? Right, right. Would you looking for yeah, some uh, employment? You wanna you wanna join us? Nah, nah, nah. I, what to see the issue I got, man? I've been dealing with this probably about the last two months now. That, What's wrong, brother? Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm trying to tell you. So the problem is when I come to the church, last couple of months, man, uh, uh, I've been, I've been come, like my, 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 my regular car then broke down on me. So I had a, I got an old van 
that I've been Sorry get, to hear about that. Yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, I got an old van that I've been using to get around in. So right. now for the last two months I've been riding in it, when I come into the church, you know, you, and I find out who you were, but you keep sending me to the back of the parking lot. And then, but, you know, I noticed. No. No, nah, bro, not on the real. So you sending me to the back, and I'm noticing when I see cars that's like 2010, 2015 cars. Well, well, brother, well, well, well listen, we I, we don't have no uh, set place where we put model car. You know, I just I just direct the traffic, brother. Okay, so so you trying to tell me for the last two months you just direct traffic, but you yeah. got but you directing me to the back every time. But a car behind me or a car in front of me, it'll be going to the front. <laughs> Nah, you, I, where are you getting this information from? I, mean, I, I, didn't, I didn't see you, man, or uh, send people to the front to park. I didn't see you do. Nah, nah. I just, I just put you know the bigger uh, vehicles in the in the back, and um, uh, certain you know that we. It's really no schedule. If, if you come in, I just, I just direct you to the right or the left. I, it's, it's really nothing to it, really. So you're not so, trying to say so. So my my van being raggedy ain't the reason why I'm being no, bro, no, bro, no, no, no. I would, no, we that's not what we're about. Nah. Okay. Uh, I, well, I'm, I'm sorry you feel that way. Uh, I mean, so I guess this Sunday. Uh, let me let me. I'm gonna tell you about this Sunday. That my, I can what, make sure. No, no. Let me tell you right now. When my van pull up there Sunday, I'm gonna tell now, you right brother, now. If I get sent to the back, I'm gonna tell you right now. It's gonna calm be. Down, it's gonna brother, be. Nah, it's brother. gonna be. A problem if i get whoa, sent whoa, to the whoa, back whoa, whoa. you know now you don't have to cuss brother just just calm down it's, it's not it's not that serious no it is that serious because see what no, i already no, know no, no, i know no, i got no. a ragged ass van i know that i know that mm. but i but see that's the reason why i'm getting sent to the back and i know it because the car i had before y'all was sending me up front so i already know i'm just saying i'm telling you right now brendan i'm telling you right now it's gonna be a problem if i get sent whoa. to the back brother you just singled me out and, and no, no, or did you, no! I didn't single you out. I, you, you are the person that has been sending me to the back, dude. No, I, no, I haven't. You, you, hey, man, why you keep? Why, why are you sending? Why, why are you? Why, why are you accusing me of, I, of something? I, I ain't got because I didn't seen it. No, you are. You, you're calling me. You're calling me out of the blue, and, and you're accusing me of something that I'm, 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 I'm not doing. I, no, no, I, you didn't sent my ragged ass van to the back. You didn't right. done it. You didn't done it two months straight, Brendan. You no, have no, done I it. Haven't. Yes, no, you, no, I haven't. Yes, not. you have. You sent all the Please pretty stop. cars up front. That's what you're doing. So, but I tell you what, come Sunday, gonna be a problem. Oh, if oh I so now you're threatening me? Uh, you you threat I mean, now, now listen. We, 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 we can meet up at it. We can meet up here before any cars get there. How about that? I don't care how you want to do it, Brendan. No, uh, no, but, you it, actually do know how you want to do it. So bring it then. Okay, I'm letting you know. My car, my van, gonna be up front. Comes your van your van it's me and you how about that you want you want you want to talk tough tony stuff oh you, oh, oh okay so you you, you are you swelling all up now you all right so no, so no, cool sound like you already did so i guess i'm matching you okay well no now, problem I'm not gonna call, listen brother brother listen you're not gonna call my phone and threaten me and tell me what you what you think i did when i, I didn't do it i didn't told that? you man you've been no, sending me no, to no, the no, damn no, 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 no. back no, man that's what you we passed what you thought okay what it is no it's what i know it's what i know brendan it's what I know, okay? Well, listen, you didn't, you didn't where, send me. Where you at right now? Okay. Where you know, you know, right we ain't got to work. You know what? I'll tell you what. You come, right now. come Sunday, that shit ass then, Brendan. No, 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 no. How about what you doing right now? What you mean what I'm doing right now? I'm at work right now. Oh, oh, oh. So you you at work calling me about some bull parking spot? Oh, okay. Oh, look at the cussing Christian now. Look no, at you. No, no, Look at the cussing. No, you, no, no, no. Matter of fact, you. Okay, if you want to do something, let's do it now. Parking lot, I don't, I don't care where we at. Okay, now, okay. You're not so gonna, that's one thing you're not going to do is disrespect me. I'm telling you that right now, brother Calvin. You bring your ass down here, I'm going to fold you like a wet piece of paper. You don't know who you f***ing <laughs> with, okay? I done been locked up six, seven years. I'm just in the church trying to get my life together. And you think you're just going to talk to me? You got another thing coming, brother. I'm going to tell you that right now. So <laughs> if you want to get it on... Meet me in the parking lot right now. I give you an hour to get there, you piece of tonight. Now you're trying to scare me with your no, back, no, with your trying, background. I'm trying to tell you what you, it is. Oh uh, no, you're trying to scare me with your background or something. Like evidently, you just, I ain't know you had been in jail with the wrong one. I'm just gonna say this. Uh, do you know Lester that that also yeah, worked? I know Lester. He also had a cars parking. Would you try buy buy yourself out of this? This is what I'm about to lay on you. No, no. Now you're talking about. Le I know a Lester. Okay, okay, Lester. 
is the person to tell me to call you. This is nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. <laughs> Brendan, your boy Lester in the parking lot got me to prank phone Le call you. <laughs> <laughs> oh <my God>. ah. <laughs> yo, 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 ah. <laughs> Y'all got me out here talking reckless. I should have cool pass it over here this way. <laughs> well, hang in there, brother, and, and do this for me, man. Tell me this. What is the baddest, and I mean the baddest, radio show in the land? Man, the Steve Harvey radio show, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, if you see somebody Sunday, pull up in a van, show them some love, baby. Show them some love. I might have to call out this week, man. I'm, I, I, my heart can't take it. Cat dog, <laughs> let's sweat it up. Let's go. Hello. Hey, I'm trying to reach Manny. Is this Manny? No, nah, this ain't Manny, man. This is Sweat. Who's this, man? Hey, this is Raheem, man. Uh, wow, this is Sweat. Okay. Hey, uh, Mr. Keith, you, uh, we, we got we got people down here. You're supposed to be here at that record store, man, right here in Harlem. And, and we got people wrapped around the building. You're supposed to be here signing these CDs, man. But it's been over an hour. These people have been standing here waiting on y'all. Yo, man, I don't know nothing about no record store. And, uh, and number two, I don't know nothing about doing no signing, man. Who set this up, man? I, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, the name I was given was Manny. Who was who was Manny? Manny's my road manager, but he don't set things up, man. He's a road manager. He's not my manager. He just handled my stuff on the road, but I was never told I was supposed to be nowhere to do anything, man. I mean, normally when somebody tell me, me and them have an understanding that I, I, I book what I'm supposed to do, so I don't know nothing about this, my brother. Okay, well, you know, we got to get this taken care of. We got people wrapped around the bill, and we got a table here laid out. We got uh, pens and everything for you to sign these CDs, man. We got over 100 people outside the uh, store. My brother, I, I, nobody told me about no no signings or no nothing, man. I mean, I, I don't know nothing about no signing, for real. Okay, well, you, are you hearing what I'm saying to you, man? We got people outside the building waiting for you to arrive to sign some CDs. Now, what am I supposed to tell these people? Yo, I don't know what you're supposed to tell them, man. I mean, you know, I'm, and, and it's kind of like you're raising your voice, dude. I don't, I don't, I don't I, first of all, I don't know even know who you are calling me like this. I told you, man, I didn't set nothing up, man. And, you know, I mean, I don't even know who gave you my number. You know what I'm saying? For, I mean, I, I don't handle it. All this information is on the fax machine. I got this as a contact number. Manny is the person. I'm supposed to be talking to, and Mr. Sweat was supposed to arrive here at 12 noon. Now here it is. It's it's 1 15, 1 20, man, and you ain't here. And we got people wrapped around the building. We've been advertising this for the last two weeks. I mean, the album dropped My today. Brother, I don't think you. I mean, no disrespect to you, but I don't think you hear me, man. I I, I don't know nothing about a signing. If I knew about a signing or I knew I had a signing such that I wouldn't have the people sitting around or standing around like that. That's not what I do. But no one informed me that nothing like this was going down today. You know what I'm saying? So you know. Okay, but look, man. Now that you realize people are here waiting, what are you gonna do? What I'm supposed to tell them? Man, there's no way in the world I can get down there and do a signing at this time, late time, right now, man. I mean, you man, know. You need to get your bag and that. You, you need. You need to get, try to try to get yourself down here, man. Well, first of all, and, and, first of all, I mean, you know, I, what did you just say? I, I think you just called me on my name or something, man. What did you just say to me, man? No, no, no. I'm saying, I, I'm saying, you need to try and come on down and sign sign these CDs for these people, man. man. These people are here. They wait in line. They've been waiting over an hour on you. Now this this not gonna man, look good. This dude, the date. Dude, dude, I mean, dude. I, we got your we got your CD almost on every show, dude, man. I, I'm I'm feeling you, and I, I'm I understand now. I understand what you're saying to me, but there's no way I can get down there, man. We you just gonna have to reschedule this, so we gonna have to reschedule this. I apologize for the you know misunderstanding, but bottom line is. I knew nothing about this. Oh, hold on, hold on a second. Hold on. Mr. Anderson, he's, this is Mr. Sweat. He's saying he don't know anything about being here. I'm telling him we got people all wrapped all around the building. He don't care. <laughs> yo, yo, dude, I didn't say I didn't he, care. I said there's nothing I could do. I didn't say that. I didn't say that, man. Don't put words in my mouth, my brother. What do you want me to Will do? You re Mr. All you got to do is reschedule it for another time, I, man. That's what you do. I, hold on, man. I'm talking to my boss. I'm trying to hold figure out how to up, get... Man. We got people oh. finna get mad, man, because you're not here. Up, okay? You now, whoever Manny... Manny needs his <laughs> whoop, man. He does. Yo, I don't, Say what? I don't know nothing about that, man. I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. All I know is that nobody told me about that. You know, I'll call Manny, and I ask who said because I don't do things unless I know where, where it's coming from. There well, ain't no way you can get your you can get yourself hold down up, hold up. You keep First of all, man, you don't talk to me like I'm your child, man. You keep saying there's no way I can get my, 
you know, you back up with, on what you're saying, dude. Hey, man, hey man we're having a problem. This is supposed to be one of the biggest days of our record store. We got your CD on every shelf, and you you just so calm and collect Like, it's not a problem no, with you. No, what I'm supposed to do, man, when I didn't know nothing about it, I understand it's a problem. It's a problem because it made me look like I'm a no-show. But, dude, I'm telling you again, I knew nothing about this, man. Hold on, hold on one second. Take all his damn CDs off the shelf. Every last yo, dude, one of them. Yo, yo, I don't know what you're talking about, man. You losing your darn mind right now, man. I'm not trying to disrespect you, dude, but you really losing your mind right now. You doing something you ain't got no business, though, man. I said reschedule the situation, man. You know, tomorrow, the day How are we that? rescheduling when the album drops hey, today, yo, man? Okay, well, today. well, there's nothing I can do about this, dude. Nothing. Who's your, wait, wait, hold, sound like you're raising your voice at me. I ain't raising my voice, man, because you now, you now you disrespect me. You don't call my phone going off like 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 I'm somebody's child, like I'm your child, dude. Man, you don't talk to me like that, man. Come so, on. So you can't stop what you're doing and bring your butt down here to the record store. No, I so can't, we think I people can't won't stop be what I'm doing. No, 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 I can't stop what I'm doing, man. So what you're doing right now that's so important, you can't come. Man, it ain't none of your business what I'm doing right now, dude. I'm saying I know I knew nothing about this, man. So I'm not gonna keep going back and forth with you like 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 I gotta explain to you why I can't I gotta stop what I'm doing to come down there. I knew nothing about it. It's not my fault, dude. You need to take this up with somebody who scheduled this because I didn't schedule it. There's a right and a wrong way to look a right and a wrong way to do somebody, Mr. Sweat. Oh, man, come on, now you reciting my, my songs, man. Come okay. on, man. Okay, now okay, no problem. Songs. I'm just going to go old. out here and tell everybody in the line, Mr. Sweat don't want to come, man. okay? And I'm taking all of the man. damn CDs man. off the shelf because you don't want to stand up and be the celebrity that you're supposed to be. Man, okay, now, you know what, man? You do what you got to do, man. At this point, you do what you got to do, man. But, the, you, yo, who, who am I talking to anyway? This man? Raheem, man. Raheem. Raheem. <laughs> I work here at the okay. store. Okay, well, I'll see you, Raheem. You go ahead and do what you get me to do, and I'll come and see you, dude. What, 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 what you mean you going to see me? What that mean? I'll see you. I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you. That's what it means. I'll see you. Okay, because cause the bottom line is, man, Tommy said you was going to come. He the one said you was going to come sign. Tommy, who? Now you, Raheem, Tommy, who the, who the hell is a Tommy? Tommy, man, nephew Tommy from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Uh, Swear I got your ass. Boy, man, you know what? <laughs> man, y'all tripping, boy, for real. Man, you, you, you don't even understand what you give me makes me do, dude. <laughs> Crazy boy. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Y'all don't have anything better to do than call me and mess with me, man. I knew the album was dropping, man. I said, I'm getting it today. You, you good? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good, man. Boy, you crazy, boy. Oh, man, let me get off this phone, man. Y'all do what y'all Boy, you don't even understand. Man. I swear, man, I had to get you, dog. Look here, you know, I know you got your show, but you got to tell me what is the baddest radio show in the morning. The Steve Harvey Morning Show, man. Get off my phone, nephew Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> he got a little gangster in him. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you didn't know? Uh -huh. He got a little gangster in him. Did you know that? I ain't no kid had that little gangster gangster like that. Can't I'll play with that. everybody. Mm -hmm. I used to work okay. for Keith with an F. Keith. Yeah, <laughs> K-E-I-F-F. -E -F. Keith. Keith. <laughs> or you can do K E E F. Keith. Real Keith. <laughs> that was boy, funny, Neff. Mm -hmm. Funny Love King him. of Pranks. Happy King belated pranks. birthday to our boy Keith Sweat. The Keith. Okay. Oh, we got to go. Yes. Coming up next, right. it's the strawberry letter <laughs> subject. I taught this young man everything he knows. We'll get into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. Hello? Uh, uh, yeah. I'm trying to, I'm trying to reach Guy Tory. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's him. Hey, listen, this d ain't out of, uh, Decatur, Georgia. Listen, I wanted to call you for a sec. I got your number from, uh, one of the comedians. And, uh... What, 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 what comedian? Uh, down here in Georgia. I got your number okay. through them at the club. So... Okay. I wanted to holler at you about this here, man. Uh, you know, I've been in the game probably, like... Oh, right, like two years now I've been doing stand-up. And here lately, you know, everybody telling me, you know, that when I get off stage saying, hey, you know, I seen Guy Tory do that joke. And I'm saying, what, what you whoa, say? Whoa, 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 who, who telling you, telling you what? I'm doing your jokes? 
I mean, I'm just telling you, that's supposed to be what's going on. And this ain't the first time I'm hearing it. You know, whoa, whoa. every time I get off, I'm hearing, hey, God, Tory whoa, been doing. What's your name again? This d ain't out of Decatur. Dude, I, dude, I, don't, dude, I don't even know you, man. <laughs> I, I, but I, I know that too. But what I'm saying is, you know, I'm trying to come to you like a man and tell you what I'm hearing. You know. Okay. Well, what Joe, what Joe, what Joe gets it, dude? Because it's like, come on, man. It's like if it's a premise. Is it what Joe, what Joe they saying that I stole from you? Well, I'm, all thirty of my minutes that I do, they saying you doing all of them. Well, what's all of them? Do I got do? I do I do thirty minutes of my sleep, man. That's all you got. Come on, dude. Well, my understanding is you doing, you know, damn near my whole routine. Yo, you got, you got, you, you got the wrong person. First of all, you, you got me confused with somebody named <laughs> pimp. I don't steal jokes. I've been in the game 15 years. I ain't never stole a damn joke. So I don't know, I don't know what people you got telling you. You know, every time you get off stage, I'm doing your material. But do I do my own material? Do I live my life? I tell my own story. Do I? I don't know. Don't crap, man. Look, look, man. Look, I ain't trying to get into it like this here. All I'm saying is. If I find out you do one more of my jokes. Hold on, hold on. First of all, yeah, first of all, you ain't gonna, hold on. First of all, you ain't got to curse at me, dude. I ain't cursed at you yet, all right? So don't even come at me like that. First of all, you been in the game two years? Dude, come on, man. You got to mind, man. You, look, all I know is people telling me that 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 you up there doing, and I, you know, I already know about you, your brother and I all that there. That, on none of that there phase me. I know he. Uh, hey, who, who ain't got to bring my brother to this I'm just saying, I know he little waste and all that stuff. Let me all like that. All right, so what you want to do? All right, all right, I'm doing your jokes. If I'm doing your jokes, all right, what you want to do about it then? All right, if I, okay, say I'm doing your jokes. What? Now what? No, you ain't finna sit here. Now what? Now what? what? Hey, now what? Hey, hey, all up, okay. I, I'm coming what? to what? L.A. I'm coming to L.A. You know what? I tell you what. You ain't got to come to L.A. You in Georgia? I'll follow you. It'll be a weight game for me. I'm undefeated. I'll come in your country. Backyard and, 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 and come on your turf. I'm from. Now, how about that? I'm from. Don't, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I, that, that's this the Decatur right don't here. This the Decatur. Don't, don't let the Hollywood fool you, dude. These movies, the TV show, mean. All right, I'll get it up in a minute, dude. I, don't, don't, don't challenge my manhood or my act. Who you think you must think you a little old uh, uh, Mayweather or something? You can't. You, you about to get Mayweather? You about to, you keep talking? You accusing me of stealing jokes? That that dude, that dude, that's the worst thing you can do to a comedian is accuse him of stealing your jokes. You, you been stealing my jokes and all the comedians know it. All of them know. I don't know you, dude. Everybody you know. Any TV show? Not now. Now how I'm doing your joke? I, don't, I ain't never seen you before, man. These little these little penny any clubs you playing, I don't even step foot in, dude. See now you trying to disrespect my come up and how I'm trying to get where I'm going. Dude, whatever, man. Dude, you need to set up somebody else. Dude. Okay, all I'm gonna say is this right here. When I see your little, it's on and pop. Cause well, see, hey, hey, now, dude. you messing with my livelihood now, dude. I want whatever, you. Whatever, dude. Dude, dude, you, you you accusing my reputation, dude. That's worse than that. I mean, I know you got some movies and stuff and then done the the, the, the damn jams and I... They ain't got nothing to do with it. They ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm still a you get You get straight knocked the out. Period. How about that? Mm -hmm. I, all I'm saying is I'm finna put the word out there that God Tory is stealing D... Keep my D name out your mouth. You stealing D Wayne jokes, baby. That's what you yeah, do. put it out there if you want to. Put it out there if you want to. Keep my name out your mouth. Well, keep my name out your Mouth. Then quit stealing my jokes. Whatever, dude. I ain't stole. I ain't stole nobody jokes, pimp. You got me confused. I'll put a St. Louis woman on you real quick. Okay, I'm. I'm. I tell you what, then. Is you in? Yeah, you got nothing to tell me. What else? What else have you got to say, dog? It's done. When we see each other, we just going at it. We, ain't nothing else to be said. And quit saying my jokes, you little shot fool. Yeah, whatever, man. All right. Well, we just tell short I am when I'm, when I'm on your face. How about that? That, and that's fine with me. And I got one more thing I want to tell your hey, little Is you, you know what I mean? Is you listening? I'm listening. I've been listening the whole time. This you've been talking. This nephew Tommy God Tory from the Steve Harvey Morning Show. You, you oh, just yeah. got it. <laughs> you bald head, road game me. <laughs> Dude, dude, I was driving, man. I pulled over. <laughs> Are you a punk, man? You a punk, man? Dude, oh, you was a punk. God, dog, I I know dude. the worst thing you could tell a comedian is you done stole my joke, dog. That's gunfire. Dude, yeah, exactly. <laughs> dude, you had me, dude. I pulled over, man. <laughs> all right, all right, you. <laughs>
Yeah, uh, dude, I, 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 what is, and you know yourself, what is the baddest radio show in the land? Come on, man. <laughs> Steve Harvey Morning Show, pimp. <laughs> there is no other player. <laughs> God, I got you. I'm going to get your brother, too. I got you. Hey, hey, get him, man. Let me know, dog. You got me. Because I was, dude, I was hollering slave, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness okay let's see I think let me make sure I, yep I think that's it y'all okay y'all thank y'all so much for the love surprise I hope y'all really enjoy um, this uh, video with the nephew Tommy pranks I really enjoyed it. It was hilarious. And, man, I'm definitely going to be doing some more, y'all. And like I said um, in my previous post, that um, if there's any other videos that y'all want that y'all want me to react, please um, send me the link. Send me the link um, in the comments and everything like that. So that way I could take a look at them. Because, like I said, I take requests. So if y'all got any requests, please hit me up in the message on there but other than that y'all thank y'all so much for love support um and um other than that this your girl kitty cam and i see y'all next time okay bye